Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And today I have a planner haul, a happy planner haul for y'all to celebrate National Sticker Day. I picked up some goodies from my local Joann's and the Michaels, um, some planners, some planners supplies, accessories, some sticker books, of course, and some stamps. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, what I hauled for National Sticker Day, just keep on watching. So let me start off by clearing off my desk here. And uh, oh, I really dislike how my lighting, my overhead lighting like reflects off my glass desktop, but it is what it is. Um, I'll cover that up in a second here. But the first two things that I picked up um, that aren't really planner related are these two stamps. So I'm a big stamper. I love stamps. I have a big stamp collection and I like picking up stamps, you know, a uh, little bit by little bit if I'm buying them new in store because we can get pricey and I like to buy them when they're uh, on sale. So these are 40% off at Joann's. I picked up this one with the little uh, glass jars with the little plants in them. I thought this was super cute and I think it would be perfect for kind of like farmhouse type spreads and like library shelf type spreads. And then I got these stamps. Um, these are food stamps. They're there are four stamps in one little package and I really like food stickers and food stamps. I like using them like in my uh, meal prep planner in like my, um, you know, if I go out to eat pizza with friends, I like, you know, kind of decorating uh, with a stamp there. So I got these two stamps, really happy with them. And then uh, let me go over the planner accessories next, then I'll get into the planners. So I picked up three different planner accessories and I'm going to go ahead and open them up and get rid of all this packaging here. I tend to like try to get rid of my packaging as, po as soon as possible, like as soon as I can get rid of packaging I like try to get rid of it because I don't like holding on to it. But this was um, the Miss Maker dashboard collection. I didn't even realize that they had this. I never had seen it in store. And then um, my Joann's had, uh, had one of these left and I was so shocked. So I'm trying to be really careful <laughs> handling everything because I just painted my nails. And so uh, they're like still drying. So I'm trying to... Uh, trying to keep them fresh here but this dashboard pack came with three dashboards i love dashboards so much because i franken plan um and my planner combines so many different planners into it and so i really like the bookmarks and um the separation that dashboards allow me to uh, achieve in my freaking planner and they're just always so so adorable and cute so these are miss maker um bookmarks we have a skinny one that's blue with this nice pattern on it this one that says creativity is messy and i'm very creative i love that one and this one was my favorite, the one with the scissors on it. So, so cute. I tend to like my dashboards a little bit more bright and colorful. This one's cute, but I wish it wasn't on this dark blue background because I feel like it it makes it hard to see like all the doodles. But I'm excited for these dashboards. Really excited. And then moving on, I got another pack of three dashboards. And this one seems to be like a homebody a uh, type of dashboard pack, like a household homebody. Um, uh, there we go. Um, and it has mostly florals. So this one is gorgeous. This one, I actually don't mind the dark background on this one because um, there's just so much foil design going on it that it, it pops really nicely. And then we have this one that says, oh, how she loved to be at home. This one is amazing. I'm gonna be using this one in my household for sure. 
And then the last one says, create a home inspired by your life, and then your home will inspire you. Love that. I also want to use this one in my household planner. Ooh, these are gorgeous. I'm so, so excited for uh, to stick these into my, um, into my happy planner. And then I picked up this planner accessory pack, which is like a gardening accessory pack. Um, I saw this and like I fell in love. I picked up the other gardening accessory pack that they came out with a while ago that came out, uh, that had the bookmark with the, um, with the like herbs on it. And I really liked that accessory pack. So this accessory pack came with some, um, with a bookmark and some sticky notes. So the bookmark is gorgeous. It says, allow yourself to grow. It has these radishes um, or beets, but it's beautiful. This thing is gorgeous. I already have a gardening bookmark, but I can definitely switch it out with this one whenever I want to. Oh, love this so much. So I have seven new bookmarks, thanks to my little haul. There's this uh, little sticky note guy, and I love, I love these sticky notes so much. I love the square one with the little tomatoes on it. I love when they give us sticky notes that are just like in this really functional square shape and it has a lot of room to write on it. I tend to use these types of sticky notes as actual stickers. Like I'll use um, like a double-sided tape adhesive to kind of tape it down and use it as kind of like a functional sticker box. So I'm really, really happy with this one. I'm going to be using these in my gardening uh, planner. And then it came with one sticker sheet of super cute stickers. Really happy with that. And also this adorable um, folder with these really cute um, veg vegetable designs on it. So really happy with this. I'm definitely gonna be using this in my gardening section of my Franken planner. So happy to have this. And then the last thing in that accessory pack was a stack of paper and I really liked this paper. I'm always like on the hunt for really functional uh, productivity type paper. So this is a great um, daily page. It just has um, a line section on the left here with cute little designs, a little uh, watering can with flowers and a butterfly up here as a to-do section and then a dot grid section that just is for notes. And that's the front and on the back you just have a plain grid section with this little um, bird here that says let love grow and honestly I just wish the happy planner would just have um, this page like this type of format on the back as well they tend to always give us like a detailed type of page on the front and then a grid a, like a plain grid on the back and I wish you would just do um, like half of the paper pack be pages with both this on the front and back and then like half of the the other half be just plain grid paper i wish you didn't like split it up like this but that's fine um i think i can definitely use these for daily sheets and i love the design i love how it's split blue and white i think that's really interesting and i'm looking forward to using these sheets all right i'm gonna um save the stickers for last, save the best for last, and I'm gonna share with you the three planners I picked up. Um, so the first one I picked up was actually, it's not a planner, it's a Happy Notes journal. And this one is the Colorful Leopard Happy Notes. I'm gonna peel off um, this thing here. I hate, I hate this stuff, like all the extra stuff that comes like on the planner. And I hate this little glue dot that the Happy, pl the happy Planner needs to stop. You need to stop with these glue dots because they really, they really don't do anything for us. I'm gonna peel this off too. I love the back design. I just love the colorful leopard uh, collection from the Happy Planner, and I actually picked this one up at Hobby Lobby for 15 bucks. Um, the front says "Stay Wild, Be Free," and um, here's the the inside cover. I'm gonna use my scissors here to cut off the the little uh tag here or the little the uh, what is this called the little plastic wrap pull that off 
I really love when I uh, pull out all this junk in the planner and really start to settle in into the planner. But anyways, this is a Happy Notes uh, planner and it has uh, dividers, as four dividers, and then it has a couple of pages for like uh, journaling and it gives you some kind of um, templates for uh, you know, bullet journaling and such. So you have like a gratitude section, a habit tracker. I might use this one actually. I like how it's set up. Um, it has like a goal section and then like uh, all the things section. And then it has a page um, that's kind of has this cute design on it. I'm not sure exactly what that's meant for. And then here's another uh, section and lastly you have a wild ideas section so the reason i got this planner was because i've been on the hunt for plain dot grid paper for a while and it's been really hard to find dot grid paper that doesn't have like designs on it and i was kind of flipping through this um this notebook and i realized that it has plain dot grid paper and it has a good number of pages like each each section has a couple of these um like bullet journal type pages to kind of give you an idea of you know how to use the grid paper but then um after that the rest of the pages in that section are these plain dot grid pages and I was like, oh, that's exactly what I want. That's what I'm looking for. And because I like to do a lot of that type of like custom spreads for myself. And I'm always like fighting with the paper, the filler paper that I do have that's dot grid because um, it has just so much, so many designs on it. It's so, uh, so designed usually. And uh, I keep on like feeling myself needing and wanting plain dot grid paper. And so I picked up this notebook um, because it has a bunch of dot grid paper. So I'm excited to, um, to play around with this. And then I have two other planners here. So I'm going to cut off this uh, plastic wrapping on this paper. So I was not intending to pick up planners today. <laughs> And then I was at my Joann's and I saw this planner and I was so like blown away by it and it was so cute and I knew that I wanted this planner and it's an undated horizontal planner so it's going to be perfect um it's going to be perfect for next year because um because it's undated, I can start it whenever, so I don't have to start it, you know, today or this year. And I already have my entire planner lineup for this year, and I'm not about to add another planner to my planner lineup. But I really, really liked this planner, and um, I just love the cover on it. I love the back cover on it as well. This color is, this light pink is like the color of my soul. And this is Mickey and Minnie. It says, find happiness in the journey adorable so cute i saw this i knew i wanted it um for one of my planners for next year and this is a horizontal layout and right now i'm using a horizontal layout for uh, both of my reading journal and my uh like creative and personal writing uh planner so I could use it for one of those or, you know, I might use it for a different planner. I might like transition one of my verticals to a horizontal. Um, yeah, I might do that. I'm not sure exactly. I'll have to definitely see how uh, this year goes, um, whether I want to transition any of my planners from their current format to um, a different type of format. But I love this modern Mickey and Minnie line uh, because with Disney, we see a lot of colorful uh, stickers, a lot of colorful planners, which is wonderful. And I actually do have like a good number of Mickey and Minnie planners right now in my lineup. And I love the brightness. But there's something about this like super classy, minimal, um, you know, muted color palette with Mickey and Minnie that really speaks to my soul. I also really like the monthly page, the monthly overview page. 
and I love the dividers. The monthly calendar is really neutral and nice. And the weekly pages, again, are like super neutral. And I just really like the format of this. And I cannot wait um, for next year. I'm already starting to collect the planners for 2023 planner lineup. So, um, you know, it's, it's nice to start like collecting them now or like picking them up now because uh, that way you're not like scrambling and buying like a ton of planners at the last minute. And then the third planner I picked up is also an undated planner and this is also going to be for my planner lineup in 2023. Yes, I know it's crazy. Like I am already starting to pick up my 2023 planners, but you know, I like picking them up as I see them because that way, again, it just, um, if you know, if I start picking them up like earlier in the year, by the end of the year, when it's getting close to deciding, you know, your planner lineup, um, you already have kind of your planner lineup, um, you know, lined up. <laughs> So I saw this planner, this is an undated planner. So again, perfect for starting it whenever I want to start it. And this is a gardening planner. And I love this planner cover. It says my garden is my happy place. And I'm a huge gardener. I've, I had a gardening planner in 2021 and I currently have a gardening planner um, for this year 2022 but both of the planners that i am using and used in 2021 aren't like specific gardening planners and this is actually a specific gardening planner and it has this cool inside insert here on the back of the cover of like the um, plant hardiness zones of the united states which is amazing it has the stickers here has the cover page with the vegetables. Love it. Um, really nice and neutral uh, monthly overview page with the tomato design there in the bottom. And then uh, the monthly has super cute gardening designs at the bottom and the top here. And then the, uh, the weekly pages are really, really amazing for gardening because it has these gardening trackers on the side and gardening to do's. It's a vertical format and this is just so perfect for gardening. So I cannot wait to um, really get into this. And right now I just have a undated vertical um, planner uh, that's not specific for gardening, for my gardening planner. It's the Sweet Succulents one. And um, I'm really happy to be in that planner this year because it's the first time that my gardening planner has been in a classic sized like this, a classic vertical. And before that I had used like a skinny classic that wasn't kind of in a horizontal um, format. And so, uh, yeah, I'm just so excited for this planner. The dividers are so gorgeous and I'm just so, 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 so excited. Um, I'm a big gardener, so this really motivates me and helps me keep keep, in, keep on track, keeping track of my garden. Remember your roots. Ugh, just, I love this so much. I cannot wait for 2023. I already have two planners for 2023. I love the back cover here. So that is my gardening planner that I picked up. And then, the last thing that I picked up, I picked up four sticker books um, to celebrate National Sticker Day. So I picked up, let's start with this one, picked up Disney Villains. This is the mini sticker book, although I don't have mini planners, but this was the only one that was in the store. The other one sold out, it was so sad, but uh, I'm sure you've seen this before. Um, so many people were sharing flip throughs of these sticker books when they first came out and I was I wanted one so bad but I told myself I would wait until it came to stores and so um, yeah this is a really really fun sticker book with all the Disney villains in it really excited for this one I love the holographic foil um, that they included in here 
I just love that and I just love seeing all these villains. I've always been someone that like really likes the villains. <laughs> so happy to, to have that finally. And then I picked up this sticker book. I actually wasn't, this was not on my radar until I flipped through it at my Joann's. This is the Peace Within sticker book. It's a faith sticker book and I felt like this would be perfect for my spirituality section in my happy planner. Um, so I have a faith and spirituality section and uh, I think this is gonna motivate me a lot to, um, uh, to do Bible study more. Uh, to pray more um, and yeah it has great great stickers and it has functional stickers as well that don't really have anything to do with faith so like these boxes um, and these like decorative florals um, so this is definitely gonna be really functional as well as spiritual and then I picked up this sticker book, which is the Plant Mama sticker book. Of course, I picked up a lot of gardening stuff in this haul, but this is all about gardening. You have water schedule trackers, um, uh, plant quotes, uh, just like functional gardening and plant stuff. Um, repot stickers, rotate plant stickers, uh, clean leaves stickers, trim leaves stickers. So these are like uh, super, super like specific to plant care and gardening care. And I feel like these um, are a little bit more, they have more to do with, um, with uh, indoor plants, like house plants. But I have, uh, I, I do have um, a few house plants, not that many though, I'm more of a gardener. So I feel like these stickers have more to do with uh, indoor house plants, which require a different bit, a different type of care. They're very different from outdoor plants, but I think uh, this is gonna serve me for both my garden and my indoor house plants. I kind of want to get another house plant <laughs> now that I'm looking through all these stickers. And then the last sticker book I have here is the Zodiac sticker book. So. This was on my radar for a little bit, and um, I I like saw it in Michaels at one point, and I picked it up, but then I put it back down. I was like, no, I don't need this, and then I just kept on like regretting it and thinking about it for like weeks after. So I decided to finally go back to Michaels and pick up this sticker book because I love astrology. I'm really into like following the movements of the stars and the planets. And I actually keep track of all of the, you know, planetary movements, the, the zodiac. I keep track of all of that in my spirituality planner. And so I think um, these stickers are really going to help me, you know, decorate my my spirituality section because I do like keep track of you know the seasons of the zodiac and the the movements of the planets and the constellations so I think this is going to be excellent um to help me decorate my spirituality section so yeah this is the zodiac um sticker book and so that's it. That's all that I have in the haul. I was just kind of in the mood for like a big happy planner, crafty sticker haul. And I, you know, decided to celebrate National Sticker Day by going all out and supporting my local economy. And I'm so happy with what I found and what I picked up. I'm really excited for um, all the dashboards as well as my, uh, my planners, my planner lineup for 2023 is already starting to form. So I'm excited about that. And um, yeah, I'm excited to stick these dashboards into my planner and get into my new sticker books. So let me know if you have any of these sticker books or these planners that I showed you. Um, let me know how you feel about them, what you use them for, and let me know how you celebrated National Sticker Day this year. So thank you once again for tuning in, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!